This video is a demonstration of the manual override system on a time lock manufactured by the Ohio Time Lock Company. Uh, the patent date on the door says uh, uh, December 13th, 1910. The actual manufacture date of this is probably a couple of years later. So what you have here is a little knob, manual override knob, and here are the two uh, areas of the slide bolt which would engage with the time locks themselves. Now what would happen under normal circumstances is that as the locks would unwind they would push against this slide bolt here and this as you can see would would fall down here. Now I'm going to hold this because this is all spring loaded and then the dog bolt which you can now see I'm pushing down would allow would would uh, fall under the force of gravity and the bolt work would be allowed to slide in. Now when the time locks are fully wound down this would be the state of affairs. It would be off guard. Now what you can do is you can manually push these back and you can raise this small lever and it now holds this back so that the bolt dog is once again I have to push it down because there's no gravity here and it will allow this to always be open no matter whether the time locks are running or not running and then to release it you just simply give it a push downward and it goes back to its normal operating condition. Now this um, time lock happens to have uh, a very very sophisticated set of uh, lever works with a spring loaded app, uh, uh, mechanism here and some very beautifully made um, lever work and to top it off if I can get this out this has also its own set of really really nice uh, lever work um, see how this moves and you can now see how it would lock and see there it locks and then if one pushes this back and again the, the, this would all be held together by the base so it's a little bit floppy but if you push it up back it then allows it to release.